folks, this is Sada here and you're learning Laravel Dust with B. Uh, there was one small uh, feature, but very helpful, extremely helpful feature that we missed discussing. So I quickly want to pour it in, in this video, and that is the screenshots. So basically whenever a test fails in Dusk, what happens is that it takes a very helpful screenshot of, uh, of the screen on which it is failing. And that gives you a lot of information as to why a particular test has failed. So for example, in the example test that we, we were using, we are, we are asserting that we can see Laravel on the, uh, on, uh, on, on the screen. And if for any reason it is not there, for example, we tried it with, uh, we tried it with different text and we, uh, uh, and, and the test failed in the previous video. Um, and you could, you could, see, and, you know, as soon as that happened, you know, uh, Laravel does took a screenshot and said, okay, this is why the test is failing. So this is extremely important. If, for example, due, due to anything, you, uh, you need to have more details about why a particular test is failing. You can simply go to the screenshots folder and have a look at the screenshots and, uh, uh, you know, see why exactly there is a problem. Sometimes if there is an exception on the page, if there is an error on the page, it actually caused that error as well because it just takes a screenshot at the moment when the error is on the screen, uh, when the, uh, the error is occurring. So uh, let's see that in practice quickly and let's try and, and, you know, delete. Let's first delete this one. Okay, let's delete. Long menu. <laughs> uh, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to Laravel uh, anything else, like let's say Laravel 2.2 and let's just quickly run this. And let it take its course. So it's going to go to the home page. It's going to see that Laravel is there and not Laravel 2.2. So it is going to say did not see expected test Laravel 2.2 within the element body. And as you can see, there is a screenshot here. And it, of course, it shows us the page and we can quickly figure out, oh yes, all right. It is supposed to be Laravel and not otherwise, not Laravel 2.2 or anything else. So, um, so what's going to happen is, uh, there, there is, there is one, other uh, quick way to kind of get this in and what you can do is you can you can whenever you want uh, error or not I mean whenever you want you can you can actually take a screenshot at any point in time uh, during your uh, during your test so be it a be it a very short test just like this one be it a very long one you just just you can take a screenshot and it at any point in time uh, by saying, okay, sorry, let me, let me correct the screenshot. Uh, let me correct the screenshot spellings. Okay. And you can, you can call it anything that you like. So let's say status.png, just give it a name. Okay. With an extension, of course, don't just say status, but, but I think it, it even works without a name, but it's, it's best to, uh, you know, kind of give it a name that gives you more idea about, about the test. So, what it's going to do now is it's going to take a screenshot anyways of the of the page so now even when the test is passing okay it goes to the home page it says laravel it's passing it's green but it's also taking a screenshot named status.png. So just to give you an idea. So this is very helpful when you, when you, when you are debugging a particular, uh, test. And if you can't find what is the error or what is the problem, you can simply, uh, put in a screenshot, um, and, and, and you can, you can quickly see as to why, at what point in time something is happening. This is also helpful when you, when you are moving, sometimes the test moves a little too quickly. And, you know, because in, in, in normally when you are typing, it's not that, uh, it's not that fast. But when you are typing, uh, when dust types, it types really fast. If it's, if it's not typing slowly or something, we can also make it to type slowly. That is what we're going to cover in later lessons. Uh, but in, in this case, sometimes it types very fast or in certain cases, you need to confirm at any given point of, of time in a test as to what exactly is it showing on, uh, at that at that particular screen. 
uh, and we'll see instances of that further down the line. But this is very helpful. And uh, th this helps you a lot in uh, in figuring out what you need to do or where it is that uh, the tests are failing or what is the reason. Uh, so with this small uh, input, let's move on to the next video and see you there.